hello guys welcome to my youtube channel focus academic solution today we'll be discussing about how to choose a scale in 2020 by egg physics practical and this is very important to all science students practical is one of the important things we should not miss and today i'll be dwelling on face practical and i will also be dropping some other videos some videos on other particles and based on on curves like that so let's talk about how to choose a scale i know that some students find it difficult to choose a scale whenever it comes to join a curve and that is why i've come with this video to explain the simplest way on how you can choose your scale perfectly without making any mistake and my next video i'll be explaining the graph itself how to plot a graph perfectly without making any mistakes i would like you to watch this video to the end and drop a comment to know more 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 and more about podcast video thanks for following and let's follow okay now this is how your graph will look like on the vertical axis i think there, there are 10 boxes there and on the horizontal sorry on the vertical axis there are 12 boxes and on the horizontal there are 10. in each box there are 10 smaller boxes there that makes it two units that make it two centimeters that means if i'm having 20 boxes that's that's four centimeter for the graph so if I'm to take my readings, that's what is instruction is very important whenever it comes to particle physics. You read your instruction very well before you start doing anything. So let's look at the first table. In this video, I have four different tables to explain how to choose a scale. Four different tables with different readings in them to explain how to choose a scale. Okay. Now the first table is talking about plot a graph of that's mass in grams against inverse of distance in centimeter is per minus one so the serial number is just six for this we have 50 70 90 110 130 and 150 and on uh, the value of that so you are uh, if you think of what kind of scale can you find all these values so that is why and you should know how to give your graph a title so who can tell me what this graph, the graph title will be so the graph title should be a graph of mass in gram against what inverse of distance so that's the graph title and the scale will be two centimeter to represent 20 unit on mg axis and two centimeter to represent 0 0.01 unit on distance inverse axis that's for this first table so you can look at the scale choosing for this first table we make it of 20 centimeter that is in each line let me go back to my graph so that means in each line of the graph i will have 20 40 60 80 and so on so i can easily locate this value from there okay the next table so i'm having that uh, resistance in ohms against length inverse so the value of the resistance says 30 20 10 5 3 and 1 so the graph title of these two is a graph of r that in ohms you must put unit it's very important to please your units whenever you're writing your title on your scale unit is very paramount it's very important so you are plotting a graph of r in ohms against length inverse in centimeters per minus one and the scale of this graph will be two centimeter represent five units on that's all as is and two centimeter to represent 0 0.01 unit on length inverse as is that is on the horizontal component we have 0 0.011 0 0.012 0 0.013 0 0.014 that's how you lay your scale let's look at the third table 
we are having a table of mass against distance that's why distance you can see the unit that's centimeter so same thing we have 50 70 90 120 130 and for the wires where it's open to is open to eight nine and so on like that so the graph type 2 says a graph of m in gram against y in centimeter and the scale also says two centimeter represent 20 units on m gram axis and we have two centimeter to represent 0 0.1 units on y centimeter axis you can see that the scale given is, is is going accordingly with the table of Marvin. Yes, you might have some question in mind that can we approximate? Yeah, it's good to approximate your table, but I'll be explaining the part of the approximation in my next video. Sometimes approximation depends on how your table looks like. So I would like you to like this video, share to friends. In my next video, I'll be explaining how to approximate particle tables and it will affect your mark. I thought, trust me, it will affect your mark. Let's look at the last table on this. So we are having how n the centimeter against m is the centimeter. The value says 1.25, 2.10, 2.40, 3 3.80. So on the m x centimeter, we have 0 0.83. 1.35, So the instruction says plot m l m centimeter against m s centimeter. So what's our graph type to? We have a graph of l m centimeter against m s centimeter, and we as well have for the scale two centimeter to represent one unit on m s axis, and we have again. That was um, two to that to represent 0 0.5 units on MS axis. So this is best way to pick out a scale for your graph. Trust me, this particle 2022, if you understand your scale very well, yeah, I commend you. You having a your examination. Please kindly drop your comments, like and share. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate you for staying to the end of my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Focus Academy Solutions.